I'm very sad. Oh, what's wrong, man? Well, I just heard the news. I don't know why I didn't hear this weeks ago. <laughs> but, 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 uh, Jennifer Lawrence and Chris Martin from Copley have split up. Oh, no. Well, you know how I'm going to deal with this? How? I'm going to completely ignore it. Um, they, they split up a few weeks ago, but uh, for the purposes of tonight's show, they've, they're still together. Right. <laughs> so we'll just, we'll sally forth as if nothing happened. Sally forth? Sally forth. I like that. That's a kind of expression like cock a hoop. Yeah, cock a hoop. <laughs> cock a hoop and sally forth. That's I like it. It makes me feel like I'm off for a ripping adventure with a yarn and big trousers. <laughs> Say. Let's sally forth, cock a hoop, big trousers, hooray! It's the Sally Forth and Cock a Hoop Show. Yes! That's what we should do. When we get finished in the show, we shall sally forth and, uh, and be cock a hoop and have adventures. So we're not talking about the Chris Martin uh, stuff then? Why did you bring it up? I'm sorry, I thought man. I'm sorry, had... man. I'm really upset about it. I'm really upset about well, it. Well, it happened ages ago. Get over it, man. It's, it's probably... They might be back on again. Yeah, you never no. know. No. Are you still not finished that book? You no. were reading this weeks ago. No, I know. I keep, I keep trying to get to the end of it, but I can't find the damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jeff. Oh, Craig. Oh, Sandra. What the hell are you looking at? Are you, are you warming your testicle by the fire? <laughs> <laughs> Take in this tableau. And tell me, is it really like any other late night show? Sponsored by Macy's. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. Thanks very much indeed. That was very... Oh, oh, what was that? It was all right. Sort of died out there at the end. No, I did. Yeah. I was going, thanks very much, thanks very much. And then they went, uh-huh, uh, and sat down. They're very obedient. It was almost like, the, you know, they got their money and they just left. Yeah. You're a good audience, but you're not as good as the audience we had some time ago. Yeah, they were great. They were great. I, you remember that? We had some time ago. Oh, they were the they were the best. They, they were, were the, the you know it, it, you know it was audiences like that that makes me look at audiences like tonight and go why. <laughs> yeah, these these people are acting like they've been here before or something. <laughs> Give me a break. Yeah, some of them have. I've never I never forget a face. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> 
always, I always forget a face. You do, you do. Yeah, yeah, I do. I'm, bad. I'm very bad at very it. Very bad at that. Yeah, when people come up, I, some, this is true. This has really happened to me. People have come up, and I, they're famous, so I say to them, oh, hey, it'd be great if you were on the show sometime. And they're like, we've been on it five times. <laughs> I'm like, well, you weren't that good. Let's do it again. <laughs> That's, I've heard that one before. <laughs> It's not good. It's a great day for America, everybody. A great day. It's, the, it's Thanksgiving week. It's Thanksgiving this week. Look, you can tell because I'm wearing my blue tie. Thanksgiving Monday. That's what it means. Thanksgiving Monday. Every year, that's Every one. year. I won't be wearing it next year. Well, I might be. You won't know. Won't <laughs> oh. Or maybe you will. <laughs> Craig, are you messing with our minds? Yes. <laughs> yeah. It was a great day uh, weekend for uh, for the Lionsgate studio. You know the Lionsgate studio? Oh, hell yeah. A yeah. fine studio. One of the best. I think the best. If not the best. Yes. I think I think the best. <laughs> well, they, they have the Hunger Games movies, and the Hunger Game uh, it opened on Friday. Wasn't it fantastic? Oh, you it, went to see it, didn't oh, you? Oh, it was, it was I, I was like, and can you believe how much money it made? Crazy. crazy. Unbelievable. <laughs> it's already made, and it's opening weekend, one patrillion dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Patrillion. Patrillion. Patrillion dollars for Lionsgate. Now, they are a fine studio. They're Let me tell one. you. That's where you want to be. That's where you want to be. <laughs> Not in this dump. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, they made a patrillion dollars at the weekend, and that's just from me and my friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we saw it over and over. Do we have a picture of me and my friends at the movies? There we are. <laughs> uh, no. Wow. So you... <laughs> <laughs> was, that a, was that an afternoon show or what was it? <laughs> I bought out the whole movie there. I see, I see. Yeah, you know what? Elvis used to do that for his friends. Yeah, right. He'd right. buy out the whole movie theater so he and his friends could enjoy the movie without, you know, drunk rednecks right. annoying them. So it's you. And so Elvis right. would be in there. I got it, yeah. You and some ferrets and yeah, nobody else. Some I got it. I was like, I'd like 150 seats for the Hunger Games for me and my ferrets. <laughs> Anyway, Hunger Games is amazing. It's a, about a post-apocalyptic future where young people fight to the death on TV. Dying on TV doesn't frighten me, probably because I do it a little bit every night. <laughs> <laughs> really? Hell. Really? Ah, oh, yeah, you did. Really? I don't know. Anyway, frankly, watching young people fight doesn't sound that much fun to me. It's much more hilarious and adorable to watch old people fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be old people fight. Yeah, okay, all right. All right. <laughs> come on, come on, you. <laughs> Put up your dukes, mister. Uh, you, you old whippersnapper. I'll yeah. lick you. I'll lick you. you. Do. Yeah. Come on. Uh. Oh, you brought your horse, eh? Yeah. Yeah, he'll lick you. What? <laughs> no, he'll lick you, like in a fight. Oh, he'll lick right, you. Right, he'll right, lick right. you. Anyway, look, it's very tricky sometimes turning a book into a movie because sometimes people love the book so much the movie doesn't live up to what they imagined. But you can avoid that disappointment, young people, by never reading the book. Right. <laughs> CBS cares. <laughs> yeah, I like when you do that. It's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The movie stars uh, Jennifer Lawrence as Katniss Everdeen and uh, Woody Harrelson. Uh, he's a creepy, disheveled, substance abuser who may not appear what, you know, he may not be what he, all he appears to be. I don't know what he plays in the movie. Right. But that's... <clears throat> Very good, yeah. I like that Jennifer Lawrence, though. She's lovely. She's beautiful, yeah. No, she's lovely. Very, uh, very, seems like a very sensible, attractive mm -hmm. young She's uh, supposedly dating Chris Martin from the Cold Plays. Oh, God. No, from the Cold Plays, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, at least they were dating in October, or I don't know if they are. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You don't know. You know, you know why, but here's the thing. You know why Chris Martin likes her? 
Why is that? And it's one of the reasons I like her too. Mm, why? She's not going to the pub. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's uh, that's a thing. Oh yeah, you too, huh? <laughs> yeah, it happens. Anyway, that's it. That's it. You're done. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, until after the commercial break, when I'll, you know, what's it Bill Hicks used to say? Paste on this plastic grin and plow through the Crikey. one more time. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah. Right, you say this take some solace that if we did uh, pre-record this show there's no way we would edit it because I'm not gonna do anything twice right <laughs> that's right yeah yeah that's true what time is it Jeffrey Pearson it's tweet mail time time to take advice from your friends Sally Forth and Kaka Hoop <laughs> that's us Who's Sally Forth and who's cock a hoop? I'm Sally Forth, and you're cock a hoop. <laughs> yes, I am. Yeah. <laughs> Should we do our own jingle? Yeah, I like to. All right then. Yeah. Tweet and emails, oh, la la la. 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 All right, this is from Kevin in Boston. Uh, he says, uh, Craig, someone told me that Russian women are more beautiful than Norwegian women in general. I'm asking for a vacation choice. What is your experience? <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> yeah, man. What's wrong with you? <laughs> who, would, who would say that? What a, what a fool this what man a is. Fool. What a fool you are. What a fool. Why, there are beautiful women the world over. Uh, why do I sound like a 19... Why I sound like I'm a 1930s announcer, don't I? Why, there's beautiful women the world over by Jiminy. <laughs> Hello. Say, pal, how's it going? Hey, I got a question for you, Matt. All right, lay it on me. Okay, uh, tell me, where are the most beautiful women in the world? Is it Norway or is it uh, Russia? Why, you're crazy, man. You must be drinking the giggle water to ask a stupid question like that. It's outrageous. Well, uh, where do you think? <laughs> the hell was that warble in your voice there? Well, well, it's coming up to Thanksgiving, and I'm doing my little <laughs> turkey thing. I'm going... Wow. Well, I think women are beautiful the world over, you jackass. The silly question. I hope that helps in your vacation choice. <laughs> this is from Cal in Cincinnati, Ohio. He says, Craig, uh, for heaven's sake, how much crap do you have under that desk of yours? Mm. Quite a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, quite a lot. Uh, this is from David in Las Vegas, Nevada. You ever been there? David, yes. Yes, I have. What about Las Vegas? You ever been there? I've been there also, yeah. Didn't we get married in Las we Vegas? Got, you and I got married. We got married in Las Vegas. Elvis married us. What? An Elvis impersonator married you and I. In Las Vegas? In Las Vegas. Good times. Uh, <laughs> dear Craig, uh, I'm going to Scotland next month and wondered if you can suggest someone to play, uh, someplace awesome to play golf. Scotland. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> this is from Madeline in Williamsburg, Virginia. You ever been there? Williamsburg. That's a good place to go. Now, you've been there. We've been, we went together, I think. Did we? Fact. Sure. Well, what did we do there? We went for a little stroll. We had a light lunch. <laughs> We were in town for just a few hours. It was a beautiful time. What, I, are you serious? Did we go there? No, man, I'm making up. Uh, <laughs> I, thought, I don't think I've ever been to Williamsburg. You haven't been there. That's what I said, yeah. <laughs> I'm just getting clear. All right. Uh, Madeline in Williamsburg, Virginia says, Craig, do you think retro superheroes from the 60s and 70s were cooler than today's superheroes? No. <laughs> a little. What do you think? 
I mean, that's a silly question. What a silly question to ask. <laughs> Hello? Hi, this is Sally Forth. <laughs> How, how are you? How are you? You, you, sounded, <laughs> you sounded a little bit like Serge there, Sally Ford. No, I'm kidding. This is Gwyneth Paltrow. Oh. So, what's up? Anything you want to talk about? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Four? Go ahead. <laughs> I'm sorry for saying that you're quite annoying. <laughs> and? You're a very lovely woman. You... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> sorry, go ahead. What? I had something in my throat. Go ahead. What did you have stuck in your throat? Kale? Kale, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Now look, now look. Now you look. Uh, now, hear this, Gwyneth Paltrow. Let me just tell you this right now, okay. uh, baby. Um, I, I don't mean anything by it, see? I, I'm just joshing you, just having a little fun, just uh, ribbing your tickles or tickling your... Whatever I am, you know, just uh, just rubbing your... No, not doing that. <laughs> What the hell are you doing over there? Man? Just, uh, you know, just uh, having a little fun, see? I don't mean, I don't mean anything by it. You were going to tickle my... Can you keep talking for a while, Glenn? <laughs> no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. Why don't you and I meet together in Williamsburg for a light lunch? <laughs> Tofu? Maybe some... You know what? It's a deal. You heard it here first, everybody. <laughs> I'm meeting Gwyneth Boudreau for lunch in Williamsburg. Yeah. We were right back. Once in every thousand years or so, uh, a human is delivered to Earth that walks amongst us as a god. <laughs> My first guest tonight is one of those. He's an actor, a director, a musician. He's Canadian. <laughs> He's an author. He is a horseman. Uh, he is a treasure for the entire human race. And he smells of elderberry. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> the great William Shatner! told that I smell, but Elder Berry. No, 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 you're mistaken, Mr. Shatner. Elder Berry, not an Elder Berry, not like dangly, not dangly aged berries, we, which you don't smell like old berries. Little old brown berries that are elder. No, no, no. You mean there's an Elder Berry? There's a lovely Elder Berry. It's a sweet, Does it lovely, smell good? It smells delightful. It smells like ladies like, who've just come out of the bathroom. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, I smell like an elderberry. Yes, you do. I, I, you look good. I like the look of the three-piece suit. Well, I thought I'd, uh, I'd wear it on the occasion of your final shows. Your... Wait, 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 wait. There's, there's a bunch left after this one. <laughs> but it's, Unless you know but something it's I <laughs> No, no, it's downhill from here. Oh, um, oh I think it's been downhill since about 2008. Right. But... <laughs> 
<laughs> but I'm very... You've been on this show a great deal over the years. Yes, you? yes. In fact, the fact that you're going is a certain loss in my... I mean, you're my only gig. <laughs> That's not true. You could always... Uh, Sell elderberries. Yeah, yeah. You, you could you could uh, release another album. I'm sure you probably got another album coming out of sure, up singing the and stuff. Here. Yeah, and then there's got the live tour. How did that go? You were going to go to Vegas the last time I saw. I did. I played. How, Vegas. how did it work? Oh, swimmingly. <laughs> did you get hecklers? You were worried about hecklers. I got hecklers. You got hecklers. Yeah, yeah. Holy crackers! What happened? Well, I I, I jousted with them and I bested them. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Like, we don't know if that's true. Let's dig a little deeper. What do you mean you bested them? Well, I was, I, I came back with a snappy reply like, Tootsie Fruits. You know what I mean? That's definitely it. Yeah. yeah, no, your applause was not in vain. That is besting See, I mean, them. you just have the snappy reply. Snappy reply. And a heckler reply. attacks you in a stand-up. It's so magical. Oh, it's the purest form of uh, the... Uh, Except a one-man show. What, what about it? Well, that's the purest form. Well, a stand-up is, is a one-man show, isn't it? Well, Unless you're a lady. You are there alone, show. aren't you? Except for uh, Gracie and Alan. Well, that's a, that's a double act, though. No, no, no that's stand-up. You can have two people stand-up, but a one-man show is one man. No, 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 wait, no. No. <laughs> no, no. One person does stand-up, yes. but two people do a double act. No. Yes! Yes, and it's, as a comedy act, Gracie and Alan is here. That's two people. Comedy act, double act, du double act. They don't say double act, they say comedy. But Gracie and Allen. And now welcome the stand-up comedy of this guy and another guy. That's not what they say. Well, there's all kinds of double comedians. What about the, uh, uh, the singer and then the, the comic? Oh, well, that's true. You have me there. <laughs> <laughs> Well, wait a minute. What? All, all that aside, you're unemployed, man. Yeah, well, it's all right. I got, I got something coming up. I'm going to walk the earth solving crimes. You're unemployed. Yep. Uh, you have to have, you have, to have uh, education. You've got to be instructed on how to get another job. Why? Well, I mean, you, you can't be on food stamps forever, you know. I could probably go a couple of months, though, couldn't I? Yeah, but what about the rest of the guys? Look at the guys behind the cameras. They're unemployed. Oh, they're not unemployed. They are. No, the show's over. Not... Look, the, the two guys in the, in the funny suit. Oh, thanks a lot, pal. <laughs> thanks a lot. Well, the truth is oh, the truth. You might lot. as well know the truth. Thanks There's two lot. guys in that suit, okay? Anything, anything you want to tell the folks about Santa Claus or the Tooth Fairy? <laughs> The funny thing, the skeleton that goes yap, yap, yap? Yeah. It's not real. Oh, what the oh, hell, man? Yeah. What the hell, man? Yeah, I see, you've you even upset. I know, it's a guy behind there, the Wizard of Oz and the what thing and the smoke. About? I can, I, listen, I can smell that elderberry wafting over here now, man. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, yeah. th Thanksgiving's coming up. Are you, uh, uh, you uh, Canadian Thanksgiving was some time ago. I know. I gave instructions there, too. So what do you do for American Thanksgiving? I, I warn them about, about, about not, uh, about not, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> who, who are we warning here? We're first? warning people who want to uh, fry their turkey. Is that a sex thing or you actually mean fry their turkey? People take a turkey. Sometimes yeah. it's wet. That's even worse. <laughs> and they've got the boiling oil. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever had a wet turkey in your head? Yes, hand? I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You nasty man. No yeah. wonder you're unemployed. Yeah. And they take the turkey and they put it in the boiling oil and it flows up and people have died. Oh, no. Oh, yes, my friend. Well, so what you have to do is... So first... I, I, I have a, a, a PSA, a public service announcement. I know what they are. Okay, well, I'm hoping to get one. They didn't know what a PSA. They thought a PSA. It's not a psa, it's a public service oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry on their behalf, you idiots. <laughs> I gotta say it as I see it. Hey, so, um, so you... What, so, so you, got, you know what specific gravity is? Sure. What is it? It's a gravity which is specific. <laughs> <laughs> to what? <laughs> to, to, specific a, to a thing. It displaces, the turkey displaces its volume in oil. I'm sorry, I've never captained a starship, all right? <laughs> I haven't either. It's, it, 
Oh, yes, you have. They no. won't let you say it. No, no. They won't let you say you it. You don't understand. It's all pretend. <laughs> they won't let you say that, Mel. That, that, no, that you've, you've crossed the line. It's your audience and you're out of work. Well, so are they then. <laughs> so where are they going to go? We're all lost. <laughs> You've got to go to... Maybe... Oh, oh no. <laughs> All right. So what are you talking about? With the are you going to fry a turkey then this Thanksgiving or yeah, not? Well, I always fried a turkey to the amusement of my family. Look, there goes Daddy going to fry a turkey and fry the house and fry his legs. Be there, there are... Pe I when, after I made this PSA, 60% less deaths. You can laugh. <laughs> laugh all you want to. People died frying a turkey, okay? I'm sorry, that's awful. That's a terrible I thing. I know, and you're laughing. I'm not laughing. You are laughing. <laughs> that's not, that's a, that's a laugh in any man's language. No, no, I'm sneezing inside. <laughs> so anyway, don't fry a turkey. Foolishly. Right, don't, don't, don't no, uh, hastily don't fry turkeys, and if you do want to fry a turkey, be uh, careful, be careful and make sure it's dry. Yeah, and, and, and not too much oil in Not the, too much oil, and make, and make sure what yeah. else? Because what happens is the boiling oil seals the turkey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it cooks like within an hour instead of 18 hours smoking it, like I had to do since I've been... American. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> because I almost burned my house down several times and spattered oil all over me. Yeah, Bill, you well, got money. You can have people come in and cook the uh -oh. turkey for you. Yeah, what the hell? I, I, I don't have that much money, especially since you're unemployed. Oh. All right, well, um, so I, I hope everyone got that. <laughs> you know, the turkey message. You can't have this. I'm keeping this. So stop eyeing it. I wouldn't drink from that stupid cup. Look, it's got, it's got a, it's a snake with a fang sticking out. What kind of a message is that to a guest? I'm penis looking at the guest. It's a It's a penis look, message. And, and, and it's got one fang gold. What is the inner meaning of that? That broke. That's the inner meaning. Yeah, yeah, you broke. Fixed the we, guy fixed it. And he didn't know. He didn't have any. No, we only had. That's weird. We had it's one. a weird cup. Yeah, it is, but I'm what, a weird guy. No, you're not. You're, you're really steadfast. Did, how did you vote? <laughs> you are. You're steadfast. You're solid. We can depend on, on, on the idiocy every night. <laughs> you're dependable. Yeah. How did you vote? Enthusiastically. In the Scottish, yes. Yeah. Yes or no? Were you independent Scotland? Oh, for the Scotland yeah, thing? Yeah, no, yeah. I wasn't part of it. I, did, I didn't have a vote. I mean, Wait, you, you're not like that? You don't have a vote? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> I thought every Scotsman had a vote, whether they were uh, uh, milking the uh, American public or, or being... <laughs> or being... Milking the American public? Well, All right, let me, well, let me ask you, how did you vote in the Quebec separatist uh, thing? You're, you're, you're Quebecois, aren't you? Oui, was, oui, je suis Well, Quebecois. well, how did you vote in that, then? What, what, what election was that? Well, they had... See, you <laughs> don't even know! <laughs> did you vote in that? No, I can't. I, I, I live here. Right, me too. All right, so I, I, I'm not... I'm Canadian, but I don't have a, a foundation, and, you know, I'm not located in Canada. Right. And I can't vote here because I'm not American. So it's, I'm sort of dispossessed. <laughs> no, I like it better if you say, I walk the earth. <laughs> I walk the earth? Nobody will understand me. I really like it when you do that. <laughs> <laughs> I really like to do it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> It's really good. Is it? Yeah. Well, it's... you know, I, I practice a little bit. It's and very I, good. Yeah. But nobody understands me. <laughs> Neither at Canada, nor in, when I got to Scotland. Well, that's, I, I thought you were doing Pakistani. <laughs> <laughs> I took the wrong plane. The, wrong... Should have, the plane should have gone, veered to the right, and went to the left. And I, I was doing Pakistani, you know? I can't do Pakistani. <laughs> we'll take a break. We'll be right back with William Shatner. <laughs> William 
Shatner and I are just talking about Thanksgiving, and I said, well, I won't actually be eating uh, turkey this year because I've stopped eating meat uh, so far. All right. And, so, uh, so, so there's a big news announcement. I, it certainly was uh, in the New York Times a few days, uh, a couple of months ago. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Caught myself there. Okay. Yeah. And the article was, yeah. oh, gosh. We've got it wrong for the last 40 years when we were telling you don't eat meat and the fat is bad for you and eat lots of carbs and, and a high carb diet and, and Atkins is an idiot. Eh? Uh. Oh, they went, oh gosh, made a mistake. Meat is good for you. Don't eat the carbs, eat the meat. Eat the fat, eat the stuff because that's what is healthy. So they did an abrupt, like, Dr. Spock, if you'll excuse the expression, <laughs> three generations of uh, 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 had uh, your children bring your children up. No, uh, oh, made a mistake. Three generations. I meant discipline. Spock, Dr. Spock went back on three generations of how to bring your children up leniently. Oh, yeah, you're right. Not Mr. Spock. Dr. Spock. Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I... I was like, what are you doing? I was like, wait, no, 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 you're saying, what are you doing? It's like two actors going up, and the, each one thinking the other's forgotten their lines. You're saying, what are you doing? And I'm thinking, don't you get it? Don't you get it? And you don't get it. I get it. I get it a little bit, but give me a little more. Okay. <laughs> I'm not getting enough. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, there are people you have to talk to. Okay. Okay. Meat. Yes. is important. The amount of meat you eat and fat you eat is important to your diet. The, every cardiologist was saying, don't eat meat. Don't eat the fat. Oh, right. Don't eat the butter. Yes, don't, yes. Eat the, right. don't eat the cheese. Don't, don't eat the bacon and the eggs. Don't. And these are all good now? 180 degree turn. Oh, no. I was having dinner with two cardiologists. I said, what about that? They went, mm -hmm. <laughs> The, the both cardiologists the, 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 had heart attacks right at that moment? No, they had swallowed an oyster incorrectly. Oh, I right. um, no, here's the thing, though. I'm not, I don't know if I'm really doing it for that. I'm just doing it because I'm I, uh, on a journey. I Stop! Wanna... Why? Go this way on your journey. Why? I'm just well, checking well, something out. I'm just trying something on. I'm what? just walking the earth. Man. What are you I'm walking? My the... thing. No, but you're walking the earth eating wheat. I'm not eating wheat either. What I'm are you eating? Only grapes. <laughs> Only grapes. Only grapes. <laughs> and only red grapes. Have you tried any elderberries? No. Oh, no. I like my berries young. Thank you very much, Mr. Sutton. <laughs> and we come full so. circle. Well, we're done. That's it. We're done. We're out of time. Can't talk anymore. What? No, we're done. I just started. No, we have to move on. The we're to move on to what? I Your don't know. I don't know. That's the, that's, the, that's the thing about life. I don't know. We'll move on. Things will be different. I want you to know this, though. I am and always will be your friend. Ooh. Welcome back, everyone. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. I would like, if I may, to take you on a strange journey. <laughs> but before I do, please welcome a very funny comedian. She'll be at the Columbia City Theatre, uh, Seattle, Washington, on December the 7th. She is adorable. She is Erin Foley, everybody. Erin Foley. The best opening ever. Thank you. 
I just uh, had lunch with a friend of mine. She's a personal trainer in Los Angeles, and she's trying to get me to do CrossFit. She's obsessed with CrossFit. I don't know if you've had the pleasure of speaking to someone in a close space uh, about CrossFit. Uh, run, don't make eye contact. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I think it's a cult. I mean, her eyes glazed over. Uh, there was pamphlets, talks of meetings. Uh, her whole body language changed. Her volume escalated. It was amazing. She's like, Aaron, I'm telling you, CrossFit, it's the greatest 12-minute workout of your life. It combines everything. Cardio, and weightlifting, and gymnastics, and boxing, and boot camp, and Latin dance, and hockey, and soccer, and football, and swimming, and hunting, and gathering, and sharpshooting, and childbirth. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. It changes your body. Aaron, I have muscles bulging out of the back of my knees. That sounds horrible. Before CrossFit, I was a 300-pound woman. Now I'm an 80-pound assassin. Aaron, I have gills. I have gills. I can work out underwater for 90 minutes without an apparatus. What is happening? It's amazing. You can convince anyone of any type of exercise, especially in Los Angeles. Uh, spinning? Let's take spinning. How did that happen? Yeah, we're just going to take a bunch of stationary bikes and we're going to put them in a room and uh, you're going to pedal real fast. Uh, you're not going to go anywhere. Absolutely go nowhere. Uh, it's going to go up and down and up and down. Then we're going to dim the lights and pump in a bunch of music. And uh, there you go. Spinning. 20 bucks. Let's do it. Everyone's like, yeah, yeah. And then they just keep adding to it. You know, they're like, okay, you're still going to be spinning, but now no lights whatsoever. Just candles. It's just all candles. The music's going to get louder. There's going to be a disco ball up and down and up and down with hand weights. Now there's hand weights. Soul cycle, 30 bucks. <laughs> now you're gonna keep doing that. You're gonna keep doing that. You're gonna keep spinning. Now we're gonna add heat. We're gonna add a lot of heat. 90 degrees, 100 degrees in the room. Candles and weights and up and down and up and down and heat. Uh, hot spin, 39.50. People do it. People do it. It's unbelievable. That's, you just have to get your idea out there first. That's what you have to do, your exercise idea, you know? Oh, what am I doing? What, I'm marching. Oh my God, yes. You don't march? What do you live under a rock? Everybody is marching. It's the best thing ever. Side streets, freeways, all of a sudden you're playing a flute, you're in a band. It's unreal. It combines cardio and high knee lifts and flute and music and camaraderie and home games. Marching, 5950. It's fantastic. <laughs> into like fitness. I'm not like a big fitness person, but uh, I love to play sports and I love to watch sports. And when you watch a lot of sports, you realize athletes are very religious, right? As soon as they hit the game-winning home run or the, you know, uh, touchdown, they immediately point to heaven, kiss their hand, point to heaven, which is totally a nice gesture. I just think one time it would be amazing if they pointed to hell. <laughs> shake things up a little, see if anyone's paying attention, you know? <laughs> Just game-winning touchdown, they spike the ball, and they're like, yes, yes, yes! <laughs> Would be awesome, you know? Just try to have the sideline reporter trying to deal with that moment. She's like, uh, um... A, a, a great win out there today. Uh, you guys came back from a 20-point uh, deficit. How do you feel right now? And he's like, first of all, all glory, honor, and praise go to the great dark Lord for whom all things are possible. <laughs> it, was, it was a great team victory out there today. And she's like, uh, yeah, to it? No. Um, uh, you had 13 catches for 180 yards. How do you feel, uh, you know, about the success against this team that you have? And he's like, oh, Lucifer, for sure, yes. <laughs> I could hear him in my ear encouraging me the entire game, you know? Like, score a touchdown, I will rip you limb from limb! What a great motivator. Really, really. That's it for me. Thank you guys so much. Thank you 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 so much.